So here we are, Beers of Europe, up in Watlington near Kingsland. So yeah, we're gonna go in, see if they let us film, buy some beers, and take you around for the journey. We've also got a tap room, we're gonna go there first because I'm starving, gonna get some lunch, get a drink, and yeah, go from there. So here we are in the warehouse, tap room, restaurant. A little look at the menu. Do have quite a few drinks things in here as well. Part of beers of Europe. Have a look at the drinks menu. Yeah, it's quite a nice little place. We got a little tap area over there. Yeah, pretty nice. Oh, so I've got a nice German beer. What have you got here, Kaz? I've got a pineapple syrup popper with Diet Coke. Have a sip of it, see what you think. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that again, yeah? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Oh, my beer was good, I've already had a sip. Oh, I've gone for a lovely proper ploughman. And Karen's got a chicken, chicken burger and chips. chips. Yeah. Alright, we're tucking in. Definitely gonna have to come back here in the summer. Like right, my nice little beer garden. Yeah, pretty nice little uh, tap rooms. Spirit. So here we are in the spirit aisle. Got some vodkas. Thought I'd start here. There's your Chiroc one. You wanted pineapple. Oh yeah. Got to say, the tap rooms definitely worth going to. What are these ones? Toffee flavoured spirit one from Cornwall. So yeah, it's a really big warehouse there. They're giving me two rules. I can't get anyone in the video. And I have to tag them if I put them on social media, which is fine, which you will do. Link is always in the description. Get yourself down to Beers of Europe. They do deliver as well. Brandies. Oh, that does look nice. All right, let's just have a quick look at the whiskies and then obviously we're going to go and look at the beer, what we're going to fill our trolley up with. Oh, we've got some Japanese whiskies here. I do like the old Japanese ones. They're quite good. Not bad price, that. £44. But yeah, this is the biggest beer shop in Europe and there is aisles and aisles of beer. And I will be leaving here with a trolley full. Right, just a homebrew bit there. Right, let's go check the beers out. All right, maybe to the no alcohol part, but they do have garden brewery, non-alcoholic. I would get them, but I do like my alcohol. Definitely gonna be getting one of every garden brewery I find there. All right, let's crack on. We go down the beers, oh, this is wine. We go down the beer, check that out first. All right, we're in the German beer section. Got some nice ones here. Um, trying to find one I'd want to buy. What's this weird little bottle here? That doesn't look too bad, I might pick up one of them. 5%. But yeah, quite a few German beers. This is just the start of them. Right, you can also get pint glasses and little glasses in here. But we're carrying with the German section. What's this one here? I don't think the Germans do any stats, but uh, I'll keep my eye out. And most of their ones are in bottles as well. So, yeah. A few little German beers here. It just carries on over here. Oh, that's a nice glass. £30 for that one. Not too bad. Go check out the Belgian stuff. All right, we start the Belgian side with some nice glass. So I might get that stout glass, little mini one. It's quite nice. But yeah, let's have a look, see if they've got anything decent here. That's uh, it's hard to tell which is but start some wine. Just all mixed in. Some nicer ones up here. 12.99 for that one. And 11.69 for that one. 
maybe I'll treat myself to a bigger one. And then obviously you've got your fruity ones as well. We've got cherry beer there. Raspberry. Blonde mole. Like a grape one or something. Apple. Apple beer. I've seen one of them ones before. They do a small bowl. Maybe I'll grab one of them. A couple more of the bigger ones. Whatever this thing is, looks interesting. Back to some more Belgian beers. That looks quite interesting. 6.2%. If you do spot any in here, if you have to try. Let me know because I'm not too far from Beers of Europe, so get myself down here. Got a Scottish pig. Some more bigger ones. Karen's down the wine aisle, filling up my trolley. What's these ones? 35 quid. Only good. Don't have to have any stats. To look into the sort of stuff you don't find anywhere else. All right, to the last bit of Belgium, and then we're going to go and fill up on all the English starts and hopefully Garden Brewery from Croatia. So just your normal ones down here. Do a bit. Nothing really. Any interest? Got a Waterloo one. Interesting. But yeah, let's go check out the English Isle. I was wrong. There's another three hours of Belgian beer. It's a big old one they've got. It's a bit dark in this bit as well. well I'm looking behind me right now at the British stuff. Just give you an idea that Belgian Briss, there's a tap room. A peach beer there. Might grab one of them as well in a bit. But yeah, you can see British and Belgium. Three more hours of Belgium. Oh look. <laughs> Get out of most pubs though. Good. Back to black is that start. Have a look at that as well. The hell? <laughs> it's me. What am I doing on the beer? <laughs> Quickly go. Just got it before that bloke got to the end of the aisle. Nobody see him. Some weird ones here. But yeah. Some more black label stuff. Pretty good. Right, now we're going to go look at the British stuff. I might as well start from this end, work my way down. This is just the uh, normal ones you get in supermarkets here. Hobgoblin stuff like that. Not really too much to show you. And they've got some powwow. Talking head. Good old crafty wolf, wolf owl. And what we've got here? Wild Ombongo. Mango one. And a wild Vienna. Yeah. Another wild crafty one there. It's quite a few. Pineapple one, I've not seen a pineapple IPA before. And uh, dry hops, so yeah. Well, I've crafted Norfolk for a while, I'm here in Norfolk. I was going to have a look at it. Right. Moving on down. So, yeah, it's got a few common stuff. Not many of these, if you wanted that one, it's the only ones left in stock. Probably gone by the time you're watching this video. To find the starts, bitters. There's a cream start there, but you can get them in Tesco's. 
I'm after the more unique stuff like apricot <laughs> organic apricot beer there you go don't see that one ever strawberry We've got an imperial stout as well samuel samuel smith all right back down that tar bit again there's not really anything on this uh, this bit here common stuff again pamper <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's go around to the proper craft bit around the corner. Oh, here we go. So this is Moon Gazer. I've got a mad squirrel next to it. In London. This one hasn't actually got a uh, brand. This is a mixture of all of them. I do like mad squirrel. They've got some nice ones in here. Humpty Dumpty, but it looks like they're, uh, I don't know, these are the Humpty Dumpty ones. I don't know if they're local breweries. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, Norfolk. Red Ham in Norfolk. So that's why they're advertising them. Yeah. Bit of empty shelves here. All right, back over here to the area we want to be in, where they've got the cans. See where you get your traditional new style session IPAs and stuff. I, do, I don't mind a bottle, but I prefer a can. Oh, look at this. These are advertised as beer of the week. It's lucky to get a few of these. Yeah. Has it turned up now? Filled my yeah. trolley up. I've got three items so far. Oh, three big items. How much they come to? Uh, £43. Pounds. Oh, £43. Pounds. I'm, I'm slacking. Yeah, I, I need to buy some more. A few more cans here. These look quite nice. Four pack here. Four different ones. Might have a look at that. Yeah. Raspberry one. All right, Brew York. One of my favorite breweries. We've got quite a few here. I'll be getting at least one of each of them, I think. Plenty, plenty. Beaver Tan. This is new in. Oh, boy. Might get a few of these, I don't mind. Oh, well, they do do a few stars if I can see any. Looks like I just got the power hours in. Adam's been there, Southwood. Yeah. Right, we've got some nice stats here. Peanut butter milk stout. Oh, they're only £2.89. Bargain ones down here. Oh. Blueberry maple start, 6%. Oh, Neapolitan start. Definitely need to get a few of them. Brooklyn beer. Tell you what, if you come here and you don't find anything to take away of you, there's nothing wrong with you. There we go, lion, that's what we need to get. Some of that as well. Get a big bottle of that. Now I've seen where it is. I do like the glasses though. Some of these glasses are nice. I don't know if they get a pint glass or a small glass though, because most of my cans are going to get a big super box stat. Definitely, definitely the biggest stock of beers you will ever see in your life. Got some ciders here, Wallace, is it? We made it into the cider section? No. Nope. This is international. So there's a bit of everything coming up. Mango powwow, citrus powwow, dag. Yeah. People travel all over just to come here. Coral stout, there you go. Two pound and nine, that's a bargain. Absolute bargain. And uh, that's the side, we'll come back to that in a bit. So this is their new in. Some sort of whiskey there. They're pretty cool vodka things, skull heads. What's new in? Let's have a look. Got some Belgian beers. That's only 0.5 percent. That one. Yeah. Oh, there's a new new brew York, brew York one in. Sour. I think 6.5 percent. Dreams of Brew York. That's quite nice. Got loads of them in. 
Might not have loads by the end of the day. And then just some more bottles. What's that? Is that a Christmas <laughs> pudding one? The Orkney Brewery, look at that. Like from up Scotland, Orkney Islands. That's quite nice. Yeah, some more St. Peter's new ones in. There's a cream salad, there's a gluten free one. Not seen that one before, coffee and vanilla. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get one of them. I've not seen that one in the supermarkets. And then just a few little new more wild craft ones. I think these are the ones we've already seen around the corner, just put them out here again. But yeah, <laughs> I'm sure we've seen all them already. Right. These are uh, our international section. Beer of the year then, 2014. I've seen that one before. Some nice ones here. But now here's the problem. We found the garden brewery. The alcohol garden brewery. Alcoholic ones. Not the non alcoholic ones. But yeah, this is what I'm more excited about when I get down to it. Is this one here? Adding Imperial Chocolate and Almond Coconut Stout by the Garden Brewery, right from Croatia. And I won't be leaving here with just one of them. I'm telling you, I might be leaving one of everything else, but definitely more of them. Some Kyoto, there. Had that when I was over in Greece, I believe. Some little IPAs. Milk Teller, Milk Keller, whatever that is. Desperado. There's no one there. We shoot across. We're into the island section. Oh, they must have some starts. And they do, I can see them. We start with an Irish start nitro here, O'Shea's. O'Hara, sorry. What are they? Pomegranate. I was being pomegranate sour. I'll tell you what. If I live near here, I'd be broke. <laughs> I'd come in and buy one of each one every week <laughs> well probably about 20 of different ones every week and I'll be broke but yeah we're not allowed to get anyone in this video except for one person there she is we're on to the ciders <laughs> what can you recommend about ciders Karen you're a cider drinker um, I like the brother's marshmallow one I've got what, the marshmallow one, the hard deal. What one? Brothers and Marshmallow. Brothers and Marshmallow. But you can get that in supermarkets though, can't you? Yeah, you can get it in supermarkets. That's why I thought I'd get a few ones that I've got. But really you won't be able to get this one, I don't think. I've not seen this. No, I haven't seen that one. What's that? Blackstock. What's that? Oh, Blackstock. Yeah, not seen that one before. No, I haven't seen that one. What about on the other side? Anything? Uh, <laughs> That's actually the reduced section. Oh, you mean around there? Around the other one? No. Here. Oh, it says it's one. reduced. We like reduced. Yeah, well, they got these. reduced, anything. This one's £2.50 a can there. Yeah, they're written on the cans. Oh, are they? Yeah, I might have a look through these. <laughs> I like a reduced one. Oh, beer don't go out of date. Yeah, beers yeah, don't go out of date. Bobber doesn't go out of date either. We'll drink them tonight, it'll be fine. What's the last that can happen? But yeah, they've got a few little ones out of date, yeah. So I'm going to have a look through and then I'll carry on with the rest of the tour. Here we are, down the side direction, side section. Karen's moaning, she's spending all her money. Yeah. What ciders did you buy, Karen? Come and point them out to us. I bought lemon and lime. Yeah, which ones? Come and show us. Lilies. Well, come and show us, then where are they? Yeah, just going to come and point them out to us. Lemon and lime there on the end, on the far oh. end. Oh, oh. Down. Which one? Lemon and oh, lime. Oh, it's got a lemon and lime, yeah. I've got the elderflower one. Oh, there's only one there's left only of them. There's only one of them left. Also got the pineapple one. Didn't fancy the fire dancer. No. And I finally got the cherries and berries one. Which You've been one after that more. for a while, ain't you? Yeah. Hard to get. But yeah, some nice ones. I do like lilies. I do. Lilies nice. uh, is not like you're drinking alcohol and you just get absolutely hammered. They're tasty <laughs> as well, yeah. They don't taste like alcohol at all. Alright, so that just leaves us to show you the wine aisle. Alright, we've got some syrup here. A bit more spirits down the bottom, and then we'll finish with a wine, on, which is behind me. Uh, Karen's just giving me £20. I don't think that's going to cover me beer or a total. I've probably got about 40 bottles and cans in there, at least. So, yeah, probably going to have to do a two-parter on showing you what I've got. What's that? 
chocolate liqueur and whatever that one is. That's supposed to be a neg or something. Don't know what that is. Let me know down below if you know what it is. Oh, I do like these. Oh, these are nice, the old Mozart's. Oh, a strawberry one. Oh, I've had the chocolate one and the white chocolate before. Yeah. Lemon stuff. You can get loads of spirits in here. Absolutely tons. Oh, doolies. I do like doolies. What's this special one? It's got an egg liqueur one, egg cream. I've not seen that one before. I can't buy any more. I can't buy any more stuff. Oh, keep looking. Look at this haze on that one. That looks nice as well. Can't do it. Can't do it. Aftershock. I ain't seen Aftershock for years. I've been in pubs. Didn't even know where you can get it from. There you go. One bottle left here in beers of Europe. All right, so that's the rums. And then behind us, all the wines and stuff. So, not really interested in them, but I'll have a scroll through so you can have a look. There's quite a few. Hopefully, you can see all them. Into the white wines now. Jack Rabbit, because I just picked up a bottle of that in rose version. Probably around here somewhere. That's another. Uh, what well, I always got the rose one from. Oh, there it is. Seven ninety nine. Don't know if that's any good. And then few red wines, champagnes and bottles, yeah, quite a few bits in here, sparkling rosé and stuff, and uh, Kaz is busy looking at non-alcoholic stuff and the uh, brewery, brewery stuff, you've also got boxes over there if you want to get some mixed ones, different stuff, you've got a stand porter box over there, I might go and have a look at that, but, yeah, and a few German crates. So that was Beers of Europe. Yeah, it was really good. Oh yeah, I was talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, spent quite a bit in there. I, f I went back in a second time because I didn't spend enough the first time. <laughs> uh, I think my bill will come to around about 210 in total. Yeah. So about £10 over what I wanted to spend. But Karen gave me that 20 quid, so yeah. technically I'm £10 under. I'm going to go, go down to the pub and have a pint now. Okay, cool. But yeah, did you enjoy that? I did. I got a few um, different drinks from my usual vodka. I got a bottle of... Uh, cream well it's like a cream liqueur banana flavor yeah also got a bottle of lemoncello liqueur mm. and a bottle of jack rabbit rosé wine which looks really interesting and fruity sounds like a lot oh and four bottles of lily cider as well so i spent mm. about 63 pound on my alcohol today yeah well i cleared them out of pretty much all of the garden brewery stuff uh i literally cleared out a whole line of one particular one which i pointed out in the video i liked uh if you come here now there's none left <laughs> I think I think I've got ten cans of it, so yeah, I, that's that's one I really like. I'll be having a couple of them tonight, just to uh, enjoy. But yeah, uh, I will link all their socials down below. <laughs> they have got a website you can order online. They do deliver across the UK. Cool. I believe if you order a certain amount, it's free delivery as well. So get yourself on there and get ordering. Yeah, I know for a fact that I'll order next time as well. But I do like to come here, but. <laughs> I found it quite hard to find what I was looking for whereas on the website I could just put in stats and they'll all come up so but looking around they're quite hard to find so I had to get the website up a few times and have a look while I was going around but yeah I managed to find all what I wanted and Good. yeah hope you enjoyed this little look around beers of Europe and as always take care we'll catch you in the next one <laughs> bye for now bye for now